there's nothing more exciting than selecting and bringing a new box of puppy back home. In this video, we're going to look at all the things that you will need for your new puppy to make sure you're ready for them to come to their new forever home. back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to ensure that you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Boxer Show. So you've chosen your new canine companion and you're excitedly counting down the days until you bring them home. But this might be your first experience of owning a dog and you're not quite sure what you need to get in preparation of their arrival. In this video, we'll talk through not only the basics, but some other great ideas that will help make the transition from the breeder to their forever home a smooth one. Puppies are playful and mischievous, but they tend to spend most of their puppyhood napping. Therefore, it's essential that you invest in a good quality dog bed for them, plenty of blankets and bedding and a crate if you're looking to crate train your puppy. You can buy a bigger bed that they can grow into to help save some money and one that cannot be ripped apart easily. You also want to buy a crate that your boxer will fit into when it's fully grown. You can buy crate dividers to make it temporarily smaller while your puppy is still growing. They should have enough room to be able to go in and turn around in their crate comfortably and lie down in it. Dividers are a great way to make sure your crate is not too big or too small. While not a necessity, it's also a good idea to invest in a crate cover to make your boxer space private. One great thing to buy for your new boxer puppy that you can place in their crate at night is a heartbeat puppy. These are a small teddy bear with a heartbeat gadget inside. These help settle new puppies into their new homes. The heartbeat teddy mimics your boxer's litter mate's heartbeat to help them feel more comfortable and sleep better during the first few nights in their new forever home. Another thing to buy is a puppy pad for your puppy's first few weeks at home. Although here at Fenrir we advise to take your puppy out to the garden instead of using puppy pads, it's a good idea to talk to your breeder about the type of food that they've been feeding your boxer puppy. A lot of very good breeders will give you a puppy pack when you pick up your boxer dog and this may include a bag of food that they've been feeding the litter, a blanket with their mother's smell on it, as well as all the paperwork that you need. It's a good idea to buy an extra bag of dog food that is the same as what the breed is feeding, just in case they do not give you a bag with your puppy. You should also consider buying your box of plenty of treats to use for training and toys too. There are plenty of dog teething toys that are suitable for puppies like teething rings or bones, but make sure small bits cannot be chewed off and swallowed. It's a good idea to choose long lasting toys that won't be destroyed instantly. Natural dog treats like furry rabbit ears are great for puppies as they are natural dewormers. Other long lasting treats like tracheas, pizzle sticks, yakas and split antlers are also good for puppies. However it's personal preference and some owners choose not to feed natural treats. Another great investment for your puppy is puzzle toys that will mentally stimulate and entertain them. These are great to help with training, mental simulation and enrichment to prevent boredom. When buying training treats, try to get a low fat treat to stop your boxer from putting on any unnecessary weight. It is also a great idea to talk to your vets before bringing your new puppy home as your vet can advise you what worming and flea treatment is best to use for your new boxer puppy. I personally found it handy to buy a couple of months worth of worming tablets from my vet just before my puppy came home. This means that they are readily available when I needed to worm my puppy. I also bought some flea treatment so that it was in the house when I needed to use it for the first time after my puppy came home. Most worming medications should be done monthly until your puppy turns six months, then every three months from then onwards. Your vet will advise you otherwise depending on which treatment they give you. You'll need to buy your box of some food and water bowls and it's a good idea to get bowls that are easy to clean like stainless steel bowls. Water bowls should always be accessible to your puppy. You'll also need a collar or harness that will fit your boxer puppy that they cannot slip out of. You should also get a strong collar or harness and lead set that they will not break when you're on walks. Another thing that you should get is a dog tag with your details engraved onto them to attach to your boxer's collar. You'll need to buy some grooming supplies including dog shampoo and conditioner and a slicker brush to groom them with or to keep their coat looking sleek and clean. A new puppy is an exciting moment in any dog lover's life and it's important to be prepared for their arrival. 
there are many amazing products available to help make the transition from their litter to their new home smooth and seamless. Obviously, this will require some investment. However, you can be wise with your spending and invest in good quality products that will grow with them and last for a long time without having to be replaced. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell as we have three dedicated box of videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boxer Show.